This is a step-by-step -step process on how to disassemble an Edelbrock carburetor. For the tools you will need for this test for the competition is a 7 16 drill bit, a flathead screwdriver, a 15 Torx, a 20 Torx, and safety glasses. You will be required to wear safety glasses during the competition. The first step is to remove the needles from the top of the carburetor. This will require 15 Torx. Make sure to remove the springs also when you're taking the uh, needles out. Next, remove the linkage from the accelerator pump on the side of the carburetor. You, for, for this, you'll need a flathead screwdriver. Now remove the, choke, the thermostatic choke actuator and the linkage for the all link, linkage for the choke. This, this will require 20 torques to remove all the screws. Now remove the three screws holding the choke housing. This row will require a 20 Torx. Now remove the linkage from the choke to the throttle cable to the throttle linkage using a flathead screwdriver to remove the clip. Now remove now remove all eight screws from the top plate of the carburetor using a 20 torx. And remember when you remember when you take the top plate off, make sure to lay it upside down on the table. And do not bend the floats. Now we'll remove the float from the top plate. When you remove the floats, you also have to remove the uh, needle too.
now remove the accelerator pump from the carburetor and remove the spring also. Now remove the nozzles from the carburetor and this will require a 15 Torx. Now remove the primary boosters using a 20 Torx. Make sure to note, to note which way they come out. So they come go in and come out a certain way. Now remove the secondary boosters and the air flap, also with the torque, 20 torques. And when you're doing this competition, neatness is key. Make sure to keep the table organized so you know where everything's at to help you later in reassembly. Also note the way the air flap came out because it will only work one way. Now remove the idle mixture screws. You have now completely disassembled your Edelbrock carburetor. Now we will show you how to reassemble it. First put, per, first put the idle uh, mixture screws back in the carburetor and make sure to adjust them correctly. Tighten them all the way down and then back them out one and a half turns. For, forgetting to back, to back them out one and a half turns will, will, will cost valuable time which is important in this competition. Now install the air flap, make sure it's in the correct way, any uh, secondary boosters. When installing the boosters, make sure the gaskets are on there too. They must be in. Now put the primary boosters back in. Make sure they are in the correct way. If the primary boosters are switched, if they're on the wrong side, the top plate of the carburetor will not sit down on the base. Now install the nozzle on the carburetor. When reassembling, make sure not to tighten, over tighten any of the screws on the carburetor. That can hurt the carburetor. Next, install, install the auxiliary pump on the side of the carburetor and the spring. Now reassemble the floats on the top of your carburetor and then adjust them correctly. I'll explain the adjustment so easy.
Now check the floats for proper adjustment. The floats, when the floats are hanging up, they must be 7 16 of an inch from the carburetor, the top plate of the carburetor. When they're hanging down, they must be one inch from the top of the, from the top plate of the carburetor. Now put, now put the top plate of the carburetor back on the carburetor base and install all eight screws. Make, sh make sure the auxiliary pump is, comes through the carburetor. Also, make sure the carburetor, the top plate, sits flush along the carburetor and not, don't make sure there's no gaps in there. Make sure not to over, -tight, over tighten these bolts also, as they may damage the carburetor. Now, now install the auxiliary pump linkage and the clip. Make sure to install the clip too. Also, make sure the make sure the linkage for the accelerator pump is facing the right way. If it's not, it will not go together correctly, and it will take time off because you. Now install the choke housing on the side of the carburetor. Now install the thermostatic choke actuator and make sure the spring is loaded on the pin on the inside. Make sure the gasket is also on there too. And remember this is a time based of competition. So the faster you can do this is the fat the more likely you will be able to win but you must also do it accurately and make sure everything is put back together in the correct way. And it is a team competition also. Now install both linkages for the uh, choke on each side of the carburetor, making sure to put the uh, clips in f first also. Now adjust the choke on, make sure 
the white line is two notches past the center notch on the housing. Now install the needles and, the sp and springs on the top of the carburetor. Make sure not to bend the needles as you put them in. You have now reassembled your Edelbrock carburetor. Congratulations!